Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're from the Chastics too. Welcome to TC Tuesday. So we're going to be showing you our workout routine just because this has been highly requested and spring break is coming yeah. up. Yeah, coming up you guys. Yeah, spring break body. So we're going to be showing you um, a workout that we typically do and then also just some of our favorite exercises. And keep in mind that this is just like a guide for you guys. If you don't like exercises we're doing, don't do them. Yeah, this is just what we do. You can change it if you want, and keep in mind we're not personal trainers. This is just what we like to do. So let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that we like to work out is arms. So we're going to start off with three sets of 10 bicep curls. So after each 10, just take a quick break, and then do another 10, and then do another 10 after that. If you would like, you can do all of these arm exercises once through and then do sets like that. We just prefer to get like one exercise done right away. Now it's time for hammer curls. So these are pretty similar to bicep curls, but instead of turning the weight out, it's just gonna stay like up and down, if you know what I mean, you know, if you watch the video. And we also like to do three sets of 10 for these two. Next to work out our triceps, we are doing three sets of 20 tricep dips. Make sure when you're doing this, you use only your arms. Don't let your legs help you lift you up because that's cheating. This is for your triceps, not your legs. Next, we have bench press. So we like to do three sets of 20. So make sure you grab a weight that you can do for a lot of reps and not just trying to like max out. And this is just like a pre-weighted bar. So it looks like there's no weight, but there is. Then we have these lying extensions. So you're gonna do three sets of five on each side. I would try either five or 10 pounds for this. And it's actually kind of tricky because it's not really a movement that you do a lot but make sure that you hold it by your chest and then raise it by straightening your elbow. And yeah. Our next thing that we're going to work out is core, which is our absolute favorite to work out. So we are starting off with three sets of 10 crunches. Make sure you're using your core when you're pulling yourself up. Do not use your arms. This is all about working your core, not using your arms. After the crunches, we're going to do three sets of 20 bicycle crunches. This is 20 total, so basically 10 each side. And after each set, just take a break and then do the two next sets. The third ab exercise is mountain climbers. We are doing three sets of 20. Make sure you put your arms out a little bit farther. That way you engage your core more than just having them right underneath. This next ab exercise is kind of rough. It's difficult, especially if you're first learning how to do it. These are called mermaid crunches. We are doing three sets of 10 on each side. So this is going to hurt a lot, but I promise you it's worth it. It's a great ab exercise and you should totally try it out. Just practice it and you'll get it down. Next we have planks. So we like to hold these for 30 seconds for three sets. And we're gonna show you a couple of variations. So obviously the hardest one would be if your hands are on like the half yoga ball and then if your feet are on the yoga ball and then a medium would be if your feet are just on the yoga ball and your hands are on the floor and then Megan in the previous clip was doing just a regular plank so feel free to do whichever one you want. After we finish doing the planks we just like to keep the yoga ball and do three sets of 20 cross touches so you're basically just going to sit kind of with your lower back and then on the yoga ball and then you're going to reach across to each side 20 times. Toe touches are up next, so just have your feet up in the air and try and use your upper abs to really reach all the way to your toes. Reach as high as you can. Our second to last exercise is leg lifts. So it's easiest to do it with your hands under your butt, but if you wanna make it harder and engage your core more, then try and keep them out to the side. You should also try and keep your head looking up so you engage your core even more. And we like to do it three sets of 10. The next exercise is a crunch clap. So basically you're going to lift a leg and then clap behind your knee and then go to a hollow position and go back to clapping the other knee, I guess. Uh, hopefully watching the video makes sense, but I really like doing these. They're super fun and I feel like they're an interesting way to work your core. Last is legs. We actually don't have like a set routine that we do every time we go to the gym. So we're just going to show you a couple of our favorite exercises. The first one is donkey kicks. We like to do these with an elastic just to make it a little bit harder. So we do it three sets of 15 on each leg. And then we do some fire hydrants for 15 reps on each leg. And make sure you try and keep your leg at a, not 45 degree, a 90 degree angle. The 
this next one has definitely become a recent favorite of ours. So you're going to want to pick up a kettlebell if you want. You can actually go pretty heavy with this. You're going to do single leg RDLs. So basically you're going to try and balance on one leg and then try and bring the kettlebell all the way down to your foot. Make sure you keep your back flat, chest up, so that way you're doing it right. This is great for your hamstrings. The first time me and Sierra did this, our legs were literally sore for three days. So it hurts, but it's like a good pain. Next we have calf raises to work on those calf muscles. We like to do three sets of 30. Make sure you go slow and controlled when you're working on these and go all the way up to your toes. And we're finishing off with some squats. Three sets of 15 for this. You can do however much weight you want. If you have bad knees, I would skip this, but this is a really good exercise for working your quads, hamstrings, and your butt. So before we go ahead and like end this video, we wanted to give you guys like one tip as far as like how you guys can help stay motivated. So I'm going to say that if you don't like exercises, then don't do them. So there's so many different exercises that if you're trying to target certain muscles, you can do so many different things. For example, me and Sierra both hate lunges. Maggie, I don't know if you, you I know, hate like, squats. I hate lunges, so I'm not gonna do lunges because why yeah. would I do that? And my tip is to make sure that you're targeting the muscle that you're trying to work out. I know a lot of the time you think that when you're doing an exercise, you're working out the muscle, but if you focus on like actually targeting the muscle, then squeeze when yeah. you're doing a certain exercise. It's like when you're doing crunches and a lot of people will use their arms to pull themselves up instead of using their abs. Make sure you're paying attention to like the muscle. Like if your you muscle work. doesn't hurt, then you're probably not working it out. Yeah, mine's like if you don't feel it, like it's probably not doing anything and then like don't just like go through the motions, like actually do the exercise. Yeah. If you're gonna do it, Otherwise, don't you're not time. going to see it results and it's kind of like this. So we hope you guys enjoyed watching our workout routine and you finally get to see it, what we do when we work out. If you guys did like this video and you want to see more fitness videos, then give this video a thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe to our channel by pressing the button down below or you can press our icon over there. If you want to check out our merch, click the t-shirt over there. And if you want to watch our last video, just click it right there. And we'll see you on, on Friday. Friday. Yeah. Bye. Bye.